So today I've been working on converting this lawnmower engine to uh, run sideways and be a horizontal shaft lawnmower engine like this pressure washer back here. So what I've been doing today is just taking all the parts off like the carburetor and the flat, uh, the pull start and stuff and they're all in there. Um, but I got uh, the crankcase cover open. It's right here. It's got a bunch of old oil. This motor is about, I don't know, 20 years old. It's from the early 2000s. But I need to grind away the governor arm, which is here. And I need to retime the um, timing gear, uh, the camshaft gear, because when I opened it, it fell out. And I need to plug this hole. But I'm going to use this engine. I, I want to do something on an airplane with it, be it uh, RC airplane with a massive engine. I'd probably have to get that certified or registered or something, because it'd be over 50 pounds. Or some kind of foot launch powered hang glider contraption. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, so it's a couple days later. Here, hold on, let me turn this off. So it's a couple days later, and this is the Briggs. Um, I've done a lot of work to it in the past few days, mainly in internal work I've done inside of the crankcase is removed the throttle governor, which is over there. So the job of the throttle governor, usually on the lawnmower, which is the uh, design application of this engine originally, is to limit the speed of the engine when I will show. I'll just show. I'll just show. This here is the throttle governor. So, as you can see, it appears to be some kind of metal thing here. When you when it comes apart, it pushes this rod up, um, this gear right here, and these teeth on the side of the gear that stick out. I'll take it out of the napkin. It's not that oily anymore. But the purpose of this is these teeth mesh with the camshaft gear. And this spins while the engine is operating. And the centrifugal force of the spinning pulls these flyweights out which pushes up this nub this nub pushes on a control horn type device which pulls the butterfly valve and the carburetor open or closed and it's starting to rain I'm going to go back in the garage sorry the lights really bad in here but yeah this would have been inside the crankcase and I pulled it out cut off this uh, the bushing where it would have gone on the uh, camshaft gear and put that back in the crankcase as a spacer. So that's uh, the main thing I've, I've done inside the engine. I, the oil's no oil in there, which brings me to the next thing, which is creating a new oil spout. The original spout stuck up from here and just went out, which is all well and good for when this is running as a vertical shaft engine. But it's not good when it's running as horizontal shaft because that would just dump on the engine oil out. So what I've done is right here, I just cut it with my hacksaw. And I went to Ace Hardware and I bought this length of fuel pipe. And what that's going to do is it's going to stick up like that since the engine will be running horizontally. Here, I'll, I'll orient this. So that's how the engine's going to be operating on the airplane I'm building for this and <laughs> don't get me started on the airplane design because I haven't even done that yet this thing hasn't even run horizontally so we'll cross that bridge when we get there with the airplane here is that tube and it will be vertical like this and I can fill the oil without having to tip the engine over and to plug that I bought this rubber stopper which will go in here as you can see. It's not elegant. Or maybe it is elegant. It's very simple. Elegant in its simplicity. Now, the main thing I've done to this engine is I've extended the intake manifold away from the cylinder itself. I have a donor engine over here, which is the same Briggs & Stratton that I am pulling parts off. But right here, you can see the original intake manifold and see how See how short it is sticking out of there? That was way too short for this carburetor to be oriented 
uh, in this way that I have it. So what I've done is I have a piece of the same fuel tube and I've clamped it to the original intake manifold. Um, this here is an aluminum tube that I've put on the fuel tube and clamped it down with these hose clamps. And then here, I'm pretty proud of this, even though it's pretty simple. This is um, another piece of tube. You can't see it because it's under this hose clamp, but the hose clamp holds it fast to the tube. And then this is the original carburetor mount back here. And these quarter 20 bolts or machine or whatever screws uh, just like compress this and hold, hold the carburetor on. It creates a very airtight seal. I stuck some fuel down the intake and uh, pulled the cord a few times and it, it fired over and it didn't run away like it did yesterday when I tried it with uh, no carburetor on it. So this is definitely airtight. It's not letting air in. And I'm pretty proud of this. I mean, it works. And I've got the old governor spring here acting as the throttle return spring. So that'll keep the throttle from staying open. Eventually when I figure out how this is gonna be mounted to the plane, I'll then I'll worry about how the servo <clears throat> is going to actuate this. But eventually a servo is gonna be pushing this back and forth. But yeah, that's the bridge so far. See you when I've done a bit more.